So welcome back to another episode of 5 Minutes with Cyril. I want to explain today the core idea of the 8-point algorithm. So what is the 8-point algorithm and what can we do with it? Um, the 8-point algorithm is a technique to compute the so-called relative orientation of a camera pair or an image pair. So given two images and corresponding points from those two images, we can determine the relative orientation of camera 1 with respect to camera 2. And we can do this in the case of a calibrated camera or in case of an uncalibrated camera. If we have an uncalibrated camera, this typically leads to the so-called fundamental matrix F. If we have a calibrated camera, this leads to the essential matrix, typically called E. The fundamental matrix has 7 degrees of freedom and the essential matrix has 5 degrees of freedom. And for example, what the essential matrix describes is where is camera 2 looking to and is located with respect to camera number one and it determines five degrees of freedom. It does not recover the scale, so it doesn't know how far the camera two is away from camera one, but except of this scale ambiguity, all the other parameters can be determined just from the two camera images and known correspondences. So how does it work? What is, sits behind the eight-point algorithm? So the eight-point algorithm is based on the so-called coplanarity constraint that can be expressed with the fundamental matrix or the essential matrix. So if we have a point in image number one and a point in image number two here indicated by the different primed variables x, it's an xy pixel coordinate in image one and image two, we can describe it here as um, this product of point in image one, the fundamental matrix or essential matrix, the point in the other image must be equal to zero. This is a so-called coplanarity constraint that must hold. Depending how you parameterize your fundamental matrix or your essential matrix, um, it is the other way around. So it depends a little bit on your notation, but this is kind of the photogrammetric notation that I'm using here. So these x prime and x double primes are our knowns. These are the corresponding points that we are supposed to know. And what we want to do is we want to determine f or e, so the fundamental matrix or essential matrix, um, in order to get the relative orientation parameters. And so it's quite easy to think about this. What do we have here? We have an equation which consists of some parameters which are known and some parameters which are unknown, and they should be equal to zero. So it's a homogeneous equation. And this is something that we can solve, typically with the singular value decomposition. And this allows us to estimate the individual parameters of E and F, so the individual entries of these 3 by 3 matrices. Um, what we do in this process, we exploit a couple of constraints. For example, those matrices are homogeneous, so they're only determined up to a scale factor. So I don't have nine parameters, only eight parameters, therefore I need my eight points. And there are further constraints that need to be taken into account. For example, those matrices are of rank two and the essential matrix has further constraints which reduce the degree of freedom that we have in case of the fundamental matrix to seven, in case of the essential matrix to five. So from eight corresponding points, we are able to recover E or F. And in case of E, so in the calibrated case, we can actually decompose E further into the rotation matrix and a baseline vector that tells us how camera two looks with respect to camera one and along which direction vector has been moved. The only thing we do not know is the length of this direction vector because we have the scale ambiguity in here, which we cannot resolve. If you run the eight point algorithm, which is a standard algorithm today for doing this task, you need to make sure that you do a proper normalization to get a well conditioned problem. Um, that means typically that you normalize all your pixel coordinates, you have an image one and image two, uh, to a value, for example, between zero and one. This has some numerical um, reasons, but um, if you do that appropriately, then the eight point algorithm gives you good results. There are more sophisticated techniques such as Nister's five-point algorithm, which can do the same in case of a calibrated camera just with five points and not with eight points, which of course is better, especially if you run that together with algorithms such as RANSEC, but that would go too deep today for five minutes and we are here happy to use the eight-point algorithm as an approach for determining the relative orientation of the image pair for the calibrated or the uncalibrated camera. And from this, you know, where camera two is with respect to camera one, which is something that you may want to use in visual odometry, SLAM, or other techniques. So, thank you very much for your attention.